Hello, today, I will give an overview of WordPress admin area. At the end of the installation process that I showed you in previous videos, you're either sent automatically to the default login page, or there will be a link to take you there. For login to admin area, if you installed WordPress in a subdirectory, you'll add slash WP admin at the end of that subdirectory URL. Logging in is a matter of entering the username and password you chose during the installation process. If you forget or can't find your password, there's a link on the login page for setting a new password. You can use either your email address or your username to set a new password. In either case, the instructions for setting the new password are sent to that email address, so always make sure it's a functioning address. Logging into WordPress means you're going into the administrative area of your website, the back end. This is where you create content, update content, control the look of your site, add or remove functionality, and much more. The first time you log into WordPress, you get a welcome message at the top of the dashboard screen. The most important tool for getting around WordPress is the main admin menu, which is on the left side of all admin screens. The first level of the main admin menu shows all the admin sections. When you're in one of the sections, its submenu items display as well. When you mouse over any other menu item, you see a flyout menu with all the links for that section. The toolbar is at the top of WordPress admin screen. The toolbar provides additional navigation for the admin area, including, from left to right, the following. Links to WordPress.org, the codex, the support forums, and a feedback page. A link to the front end of your site. An icon indicating how many comments await moderation. A quick link menu for creating a new post, adding media, creating a new page, or adding a new user. Your user display name, your profile photo, and links to your profile and to log out. As with so many elements of WordPress, this toolbar will vary according to what theme you have and which plugins. You can turn off the toolbar for the front end of your site but not for the back end or admin area. And, as mentioned at the end of this lesson, there are plugins to give you control over what's on the toolbar. The Dashboard Whenever you log in to WordPress, the first screen you see is the dashboard, which is the homepage for the administration area. In default mode it consists of five modules, or widgets. Here they are referred to as boxes. You saw something of the dashboard earlier when you saw the Welcome to WordPress box. It's meant for beginning users, although many people leave it in place permanently as a reminder of functions they can perform. The other four boxes on the page basically summarize what's going on with your site and in the world of WordPress. Customizing admin screens. Here are some common ways you can structure admin screens to suit your needs, using methods built into WordPress. Minimizing boxes. To minimize or collapse a box, click anywhere on its header area. To restore the box, click again in the header area. This is handy when you need the box out of the way temporarily. After you minimize the box, it stays that way even if you leave the screen and come back. It won't restore until you click the header. Hiding or showing entire boxes using screen options. You can completely hide, or show, a box from the screen options button at the top right of the screen. Dropping down this area allows you to pick and choose from the boxes available for that screen. Checking a box makes the element appear, and unchanged decking it makes it disappear. What's nice is that this happens in real time, so you can see what the change looks like before closing screen options. Repositioning boxes. The third way to customize the display of boxes is to physically move them around the page. All you do is mouse over the header of the box and you'll see the cursor change to the hand icon or crossed arrows icon, depending on your operating system. At that point, you can click and drag. As the box moves from its original location, a rectangle with dashed borders appears when your cursor approaches a point where the box can be dropped. Changing the number of columns. 
The fourth way to customize the admin screen is to change the number of columns available to display boxes. By default, WordPress displays admin screen boxes in two columns on a desktop, laptop, or large tablet, whereas smaller tablets and smartphones default to one. On most screens, the only choice is between one or two columns, but some offer up to four columns. You can find this under screen options. Because WordPress now adjusts to one column automatically if your browser is below a certain width, the column feature is less important, but there may be situations in which you want this kind of manual control. This video ends here. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next videos.